What image pops into your head when you think of comic books? Superman? Wonder Woman? The Incredible Hulk? You're not alone, and it could be difficult to argue that superhero comics such as these have a place in the classroom. There is, however, an often overlooked genre of comics known as graphic novels. These serious comics explore complex social and historical issues with intelligence and humor. Their combinations of intimate personal writing and striking visuals can engage students and ignite discussions. Let's take a look at a few of these graphic novels. Mouse by Art Spiegelman is part autobiography, part history. It tells two stories. First, it chronicles his parents' experiences during World War II as Jewish survivors of the Auschwitz concentration camp. Second, it details the difficult relationship between the author and his father. The emotional effects of the Holocaust are carried on to the next generation. Spiegelman uses a visual metaphor by depicting the Jews as mice and their German oppressors as cats. This can serve to make the unimaginable horror of the Holocaust imaginable and ease students into discussion. Blankets is author Craig Thompson's journal of growing up in a strict religious Wisconsin family. The book follows Thompson through his adolescence as he copes with bullies, falls in and out of love, and wrestles with his faith. Thompson's artwork beautifully renders the turmoil of the years between childhood and adulthood. Many teenage readers should relate to the story, and Thompson's commentary on religion will provoke discussion. In Persepolis, Marjan Satrapi recounts her childhood in Iran at the time of the Islamic Revolution. Satrapi's educated, progressive family is forced to adapt to a new life when violence washes over her country. Suddenly, her bilingual school closes, she is made to wear a veil in public, and friends and family begin to be tortured, imprisoned, and executed. Satrapi's simple but evocative black and white drawings allow us to view a turbulent period in a nation's history through a child's eyes. The book can build young people's awareness of a culture much different than their own. Judd Winnick's Pedro and Me recounts the author's friendship with Pedro Zamora, a young man who died of AIDS. Subtitled Friendship, Loss, and What I Learned, Winnick describes how he came to care for someone completely different than him. The book is a fitting tribute for Zamora, who dedicated his life to AIDS awareness. Winnick and Zamora were both cast members of MTV's The Real World, so many students may know their names and faces, but not the tragic and inspiring story behind the scenes. Joe Sacco's Palestine details the months he spent living and traveling among the Palestinians in the early 1990s. This work of comic journalism melds interview transcripts and personal anecdotes with intricate artwork. Sacco focuses not on the politicians and generals, but on the voices and faces of average citizens caught in the ideological crossfire. The book serves as an excellent supplement to any political science or modern history studies. In many ways, comic books have grown up. Modern graphic novels tackle some of the most difficult topics of the human experience. For the books discussed here, and other excellent graphic novels, visit a library or refer to these resources. Thank you.